folks, Captain Mike here from Salty Cape. Today we're gonna to talk about cleaning scup, also known as porgy. And um, you know, it's funny, here on Cape Cod, um, scup are often overlooked fish by you know many anglers, including sometimes myself, which is funny because scup is actually my favorite eating fish or perhaps tied with uh, codfish uh, locally sourced. Uh, it's one of my favorite fishes to eat. It's a nice white meat. And uh, there's a number of different ways to clean scup. Oftentimes people will cook these whole, but I personally like to fillet scup, skin them and debone them. They are a little bony. And, um, but if you have enough of them, today we kept about a half a dozen. Um, you know, if you fillet them and cook them in casserole like you would baking a cod with Ritz crackers, they are fantastic. They have a, uh, they eat a lot of crustaceans and the flavor transfers over um, to the quality of the fish. So I'm just gonna take a couple moments here just to talk about how I like to clean or fillet scup. And um, it's just a few steps and, well, it um, certainly makes for a great dinner. Now cleaning scup is basically the same way that you would any fin fish. Um, start at the head, work your way back, flip and repeat. And, uh, but step by step, let's take a look. I have my six inch fillet knife. Obviously this isn't a huge fish, so you want a smaller knife. It's a little bit flexible, but not too much. And um, you know, I got everything I need here. So what I'm gonna do is make the incision behind the fish, the fish's head, I'm gonna flip the fish. Now with the point of my knife, my sharp point, I'm just gonna work along the shoulder of the scup. And now, as I'm along the, you know, the top of the fish, I'm just gonna insert the knife and just slowly work the knife down its rib cage. I'm gonna put just a little flex on this knife so I don't miss any meat. There's not a lot, so you wanna get it all. And so I've come out on the backside. Now, the last step, maybe the trickiest, is just to work over the rib cage. <clears throat> These scup have a you know, collection of bones in the head of the fillet. You wanna just bypass this rib cage area. And here you go, that's fillet number one. Now, as I said before, I'm gonna flip and repeat. Make the same angle cut behind the head. Again, work down the back. Work over the backbone. Come out the bottom, slice it. Now, just gonna work our way down again. Work over those rib bones, the rib cage. And finish it off. And that's how you clean a scup. So the easy part to cleaning and filleting a scup is just deboning it and skinning it. Now you'll notice that there's a rib line of bones at the head of the fillet. So what I first do, and sea bass have the same thing, I make a V notch at the head of the fillet. So all these bones sort of stay in one place. Then with my knife, I just catch a little, I leave just enough meat to hold the fillet in place with my fingertips. Then I work the knife toward the head of the fillet. What I'm doing is I'm just flexing my knife just a little. So what I'm gonna do is just ride the line between the skin and the flesh. It's easier to do one fast motion here. Let's see if I can pick back up. Now, once I get about halfway through the fillet, I grab the skin a little tighter. I almost pull the skin back toward me while I'm pushing the knife forward. And this V-notch, with all the bones in it, usually comes up, but sometimes you just need to trim it. And that's all the bones. Now, this is your fillet, and uh, it's ready for the casserole dish. Mm -hmm. 